So to give y'all an idea of how much rain we've had, that's a sign that you normally walk by and you go by that platform over there as well. If you look, there's a rock right there. Last time Tim was here, he finished his live stream standing beside that rock. And I think that's something that's normally not supposed to be underwater. We've had a lot of rain, Mr. Tim. Quite a bit. Coupled with a wonderful view up here, on top of this hill, is a cemetery with a pretty interesting story to it. But we'll get that in a second. We've got the graves of Chas and Alvis Williams. This one died only when he was 17 years old. And over here, Nineteen twenty-five back here. Some pretty decent sized cemetery. There's one particular gravesite I want to show you guys. It has an interesting story to it. I always think in a weird way, it's kind of cool when you see a husband and wife, you know, buried side by side. They they live together through life and even after life they are laid to rest with each other. Now just up here is a little bit different of a story. We have Dempsey Johnson who was married to the woman buried right beside here. We'll take a look. And you might think it's odd that they're turned the other way. Mary M. Johnson, wife of Dempsey Johnson. However, Mary is buried on that side of the headstone and Dempsey is buried on that side so they're opposite of each other they're not laid to rest beside each other so what happened was they bought plots next to each other in life when they were married they had got divorced and when they were finally were buried and laid to rest they buried on opposite sides of each other so basically head to head so they wouldn't be buried next to each other seeing as they had been divorced it's kind of an odd situation, but unique, nevertheless. Died in 1890, and he died in 1895. She died five years before he did. Now, the most recent grave here is from 1939. Now, I'd like to come back here and maybe explore this a little bit more, maybe even at night, seeing as we found a way to get in here at night. So you guys would like to see us do that let me know give me a thumbs up tell them guys hey you guys go tell those guys we need to do that yes thumbs up just ahead is a really cool little rock formation but apparently we have a epic reveal coming up oh yeah check it out down into the depths of the water. I wonder if people cliff jumped off this before. So it looks like you can just walk around to the edge. I wonder if there's enough jump off like uh, clearance before if it's too much of a slope. You'd have to build some kind of ramp to give you a little bit extra distance. I don't know, man. It's pretty straight down. You'd have to get out about three or four feet well, it's a straight shot. I can't stand here no more. My vertigo's getting me. I see a pecker. I can't find the pecker. I found the pecker. And he's pecking. Another pretty epic overlook. See, we were way over there earlier. Now we're over here. I see a little path that goes this way. I want to investigate this. Well, I say if there's a worn out path in a spot, there's something worth seeing. People wouldn't walk over there.
a rocky bank. You see down into the quarry here. Pretty cool. It's like Quantum Leap. Tim leapt somewhere, but I'll never know where. Maybe he went over here. Ah, there he is. Anything cool down there? Huh. I'll meet you. You coming back up this way or you want to meet me over here? Okay, just spotted this old silo water tank, maybe? Check this thing out. Made of concrete. This is weird. And paths and trails down there. Looks like it was a water tank at some point. There's a pipe that runs down that way. Cool though. Got these signs on it. And just over here is the remnants of an old structure. I'll show you guys real quick. Don't know what it was, but something once stood here prominently on this hill. There's some old funk railroad tracks here. No longer in service. There's a hobo walking down the railroad tracks. Can you give me a ride? No. Huh. Go away, hobo. Okay. Now I'm down here below the water tower. I say they made like a little bird face on it. How cool is that? I couldn't tell when I was right upon it. I couldn't tell what that was. Better view of the birdie tower. Hey, Tim, Tim, that tower's giving you the bird. <laughs> hey guys. That's what we've been looking for. It says cave loop. We'll see if it lives up to its name. Let's go. We've had a wee bit of a landslide here from all the storms. Look at this boulder wound up here with a tree that fell. Those other boulders toppled that tree over. I'd say if I was a bet, man, this boulder gave way and those came right behind it. Mother Nature was redecorating. Yes, Mother Nature likes to do that. This is to give you another idea of how much flooding we've had. That's a boardwalk here that we're supposed to be able to go down and stand on, but not exactly accessible today. It's pretty right through here. Here we got the remnants of a really cool structure that once had some tunnels on it and now they look to be blocked off. But still really cool to see nevertheless. Okay, looks like maybe at one point they'd uh, backed a cart in here and dumped rock or something from up above down into it. Looks as if they once had some sort of equipment or something sitting right here. It's a cool little brick path here. Takes us to the one of the main overlooks here. We had walked down that way earlier and missed this. It's pretty cool.